Isaiah chapter 13. The burden of Babel, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift up a standard upon the high mountain. Lift up the voice unto them. Wag the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded them, that I have sanctified, and I have called the mighty to my wrath, and them that rejoice in my glory. The noise of a multitude is in the mountains, like a great people, a tumultuous voice of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts numbereth the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of the heaven, even the Lord, with the weapons of his wrath to destroy the whole land. Howl, you, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destroyer from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be weakened, and all men's hearts shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Anguish and sorrow shall take them. And they shall have pain as a woman that travaileth. Everyone shall be amazed at his neighbor, and their faces shall be like flames of fire. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land waste, and he shall destroy the sinners out of it. For the stars of heaven and the planets thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will visit the wickedness upon the world, and their iniquity upon the wicked. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will cast down the pride of tyrants. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man above the wedge of gold of a fir. Therefore I will shake the heaven, and the earth shall remove out of her place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as a chaste doe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Every man shall turn to his own people, and flee each one to his own land. Every one that is found shall be stricken through, and whosoever joineth himself shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be broken in pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver, nor be desirous of gold. With bows also shall they destroy the children, and shall have no compassion upon the fruit of the womb, and their eyes shall not spare the children. And Babel, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty and pride of the Chaldeans, shall be as the destruction of God and Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall not be inhabited for ever, neither shall it be dwelled in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch his tents there, neither shall their shepherds make their folds there. But Zim shall lodge there, and their houses shall be full of Oim. Ostriches shall dwell there. And the satyrs shall dance there. Eames shall cry in their palaces, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And the time thereof is ready to come, and the days thereof shall not be prolonged. God bless and carry on.